In today's video, I'll review the best fishing backpack in my opinion, and that is more. It's very budget friendly, too. Before going any further, I have to mention a few things. One, this video is not sponsored at all since I paid for the thing out of my own pocket. Two, if you will google around, you will find quite a few reviews about this bag dating around five years back. And as the bag is still produced to this date, as in beginning of 2024, it all means that the thing is quality and anglers do like it and do want it. So it kind of stood up to the test of time. And free, actually it's so good that I purchased myself the second one. So hopefully this one will get abused for years and years and once it will decide to give up, I will grab another one, it's so good. And also, I will have a look at compatible boxes, which are really very lightweight, very good quality, and very budget too. So yeah, now I guess let's take a closer look at the bag itself. As you can see, you are presented with the front of the rucksack, and it has plenty of pockets. But before diving into pockets and details, I have to cover my bases, so I want to talk about material the rucksack is made out of, also stitching and comfort when it comes to wearing it and accessing fishing tackle. So material is of a ripstop type, so it has a fine kind of grid on the outside and you will see this kind of a material on a high quality and expensive hunting especially gear so it's very high quality it's very hard wearing but also very very lightweight compared so very good to see that then when it comes to stitching really it's top notch i did not see many if any actually kind of loose threads or kind of threads sticking out that needed finishing or cutting off really 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 good kind of stitching i was very impressed at this price point that is very very good so, and when it comes to comfort, when it comes kind of carrying the thing, it's super comfortable. Again, uh, I try to kind of load it as I would go fishing and I like used for fishing in, I don't know, 20, 30 sessions already and it's super comfortable to wear it. And when it comes to accessing stuff, again, very, very comfortable. Like most of the zips, you can undo them like with one hand. You just grab the zipper and you undo it. So yeah, nothing to complain about at all. Okay, now let's dive into details. As I said, you are seeing the front of the rucksack and I will go from the top. So that's the main compartment and it has a zipper. Again, very easy to undo it and it has kind of split here, which can be removed to have like full length or height of the rucksack to store stuff into but that divider can be used and then you have two separate pockets one can be accessed from here and one from the top and also inside you will see there is a another pocket for phone wallet and so on then i like this solution a lot basically that's a hard case for sunglasses And you will see that I have a pair of sunglasses in it already and it's kind of very high quality as I say it's a hard case and it has a soft lining from both sides so expensive sunglasses will be just fine in this hard case or pocket. So then we have a medium sized pocket here. Every pocket is lined from both sides very high quality. And then we have this pocket and before going into the pocket you will see that there is or there are some straps where I attached some carabiners as well. And then let's go into the section for the boxes. So that just flaps out as you can see and you can store three boxes of a correct size. So and correct size is 28 by 18 centimeters and obviously if you will go with the taller ones you won't be able to store as many of them uh, 
Now I have, I believe, five centimeters tall, so I can store like three of these boxes in this pocket. So three boxes should cover most angling situations. The third one is just barely going, but it can be done. I, I tried and it worked, but usually I'm carrying just two. So see, I managed to fit in three boxes and closes up nicely. So yeah, very good solution. And again, I will talk about these boxes just now, I guess. So these boxes are great. They are sealed. They have kind of four latches. So they are properly sealed. And also they are super lightweight and very cheap and just... As I say, you will be able to get these boxes in two sizes. You want the bigger one where length is 28 centimeters and depth is 18 and 5 centimeters tall. So yeah, very high quality boxes. And what I like about them also is that they are color coded. So for example, I have green here, so I can grab another one that is light blue. So you can, you know, color code when it comes to lure fishing say in one with the blue latches and seal see that blue thing that's a seal soft silicone seal so in this kind of a box i could kind of store my sea fishing lures so if i would grab green one i would keep perch fishing gear and so on so yeah it's a good idea to to have different color boxes okay we talked about front and a few pockets now let's move to the side i guess and as you can see, we have two pockets here. So one is for the water bottle. Again, it has a little strap just to secure it. Very nice. And then we have another pocket just here. Decent size pocket. And then we have a little kind of area where pliers or in this case forceps can be attached. So yeah, simple and again, everything is of a good quality. As you can see, we have two pockets on this side too. So decent sized pockets for like lines and stuff. And also you will see that there are some little pockets which can be used as a pockets or they can be used as a rod holder. So you attach your rod through here, through that Velcro and you slot the butt just in there. And also if you are not lure fishing, these little things can be perfect for Cop fishing, like bang sticks, if you will, or bang sticks in general, like short bang sticks, would be perfect for that. So yeah, a couple of nice zipped pockets. What's not to like? I always like to see more pockets on fishing rucksack. You can just spread stuff around and yeah, easy to access. Okay, I guess let's move on to the backside now. So as you can see that's the backside and it's very very good design in my opinion. You might not notice it immediately but it's very cool. So first of all you will notice that handles are a little bit wider than usual. So and they are padded. Padding is not like excessive but it's kind of good amount. As I mentioned to carry the rucksack it's super comfortable. Anyway you see the handle starts, starts here and it goes kind of through in one piece of material and this design is super strong it will never ever give up and then we have here kind of double stitching so the attachment of the rucksack or of the bag to the handles is super good kind of super strong and it just will never ever let me down i'm certain of that so yeah very good design here then we have chest strap that is or has some stretch in it, good buckle as well. Oh, and also a couple of very high quality by the looks of it, plastic bearings here to attach more stuff. And also we have waist strap, like solid and wide strap here. So yeah, back is very, very fancy and very good design, very well kind of engineered in my opinion and also you will see another pocket just at the top here and that's uh, 
rain cover if you will. And I have to add that this rain cover is of a very high quality, it's definitely waterproof. I seen plenty of kind of backpacks do offer this kind of design or similar design, but this one is just durable and just feels like it will be really waterproof. Even though the material itself, it's kind of water repellent for sure, but since it has like basic zippers, I mean high quality, like oversized zippers, but they are not waterproof, so water can get inside of the bag and contents in the bag through the zipper. So if you have a good quality rain cover, you will be sorted. And it stores really beautifully in this pocket. And lastly, let's have a look at the base. As you can see, it has kind of high quality rubber pads, four of them. So again, it all means that material will not get kind of worn out by placing rucksack on kind of gravel and some other abrasive or more abrasive kind of grounds, if you will. So these heavy duty rubber pads will protect, you know, the rucksack or material itself from wearing out. And obviously the rucksack itself would get a little bit like elevated from the wet ground, if you will. So yeah, good design. I like it a lot. Let's wrap it up. So once again, in my opinion, this will be the best budget rucksack you can get. Very good design, very durable design, good elements, good stitching and so on. And again, at the time of this review, it costs about 22 pounds, so under 30 dollars, US dollars. So that's a steal, bargain, call it as you wish. And also, I will leave a link for this rucksack that you can get in three different colors. And also, I will leave a link for those boxes that do go well with this rucksack. So yeah. I hope you'll find this video useful. If you will, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.